Welcome back to Outside Today. In recent years, retro designer fashions have made a big splash under the fashion tent. So it's not surprising that retro outside fashions are now being found under the camping tent. StyleSite.com's Janine Pesh is here to unpack some of this new retro clothing. Jan thanks, Janine, for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. So how do we look trendy out there on the trail? Well, what's important is to keep performance in mind. So we're going to take some innovative uh, technical items and pair them with some lifestyle looks. So you're going to definitely see some references to heritage, but we're going to pair it with some colorful, fun, uh, you know, design details to give it a little bit of edge. We have some great examples today, right? We do. So this is a great um, look here that Amy's wearing. She's got this mm -hmm. um, classic mountain parka from Woolrich. And what's really great is you're getting that A-line shape from the 70s, and you're getting some retro um, closure details like snaps. But then it's got a waterproof co coating. So it's a DuPont Teflon coating. So it's completely waterproof and functional. Uh, we've paired that here with this beautiful um, saturated red uh, down vest from now. And what's great about this vest is that it's 100% recycled polyester and 100% goose down, so it is environmentally friendly. And we've layered it over um, a Merino Henley uh, from Icebreaker. And again, that, those retro styling aspects with, with a, a, a technical fabric, so it's still going to perform for us. Um, what's really cool as well is we've got this classic boot here from Keen. So this is a Pyrenees boot, and we've just added this blue lace to it mm -hmm. to give it a little bit of pop and edge. It goes great with the orange, too. Yeah, right? They're kind <laughs> of working together. And then for an accessory, you know, we've pulled out this Stanley uh, 1913 thermos. So what's great about this, again, this is a, a totally technical thermos, but it's got that blue saturated fun color. Right, okay, so bright colors and layering. Yes. Hot this season. And neutral, so keeping it, you know, grounded with the neutrals, but the color is what's gonna pull it together. Right, well, it looks awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for for men, we're going in a little the same kind of concept. So we're referencing some classic concepts here. Uh, we've got this uh, Woolrich flannel shirt. What's great is showing in olive green. It's got that Sherpa lining, so it's insulated, but then it's updated. It's got this hidden pocket here for your gear and your gadgets, and then you've got your MP3 cord. Nice. So again, updates here. And what's really fun is we're seeing this look come from the runways, uh, this idea of pairing shorts and leggings for mm -hmm. men. Um, so we've got this waffle knit thermal legging, kind of referencing the heyday of mountaineering and climbing in the 70s, and then we've paired it with that Merrill Eagle Origins um, boots. They're actually pulling um, an, an, a silhouette from their, from their archives, and um, I love this. It references kind of the heyday of climbing and mountaineering in the 70s, and what's great is that really saturated shade of cobalt blue just popping off. And then um, here we have the Jansport pack. And now Jansport's been rolling out this heritage series for the last few years. And what's really great about this, you're seeing this kind of very basic um, outdoor fabric, ripstop nylon, um, taking cues from you know the heyday of climbing. And then we've seen it here in this really beautiful saturated Kelly green color. So again, it's just about taking bright pops of color, pairing them with some classic pieces, and you know having fun with it. That is that is important, isn't it? Thank you, Chris. Looks great. Well, really some, some tangible, good tips uh, you know, to take out there when you're outside. So thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. That's great. And coming up next on Outside Today, Nick Heil teaches us some basic safety tips for a classic mountain climb. That's great.